Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that is very nice of you. Ah, uh, you gentlemen, uh... What the hell? What the fuck? Eddie? He will be okay. It was an accident. His finger slipped. Yeah, well I hope that was a fucking accident. I'm He's not dead. What is going on? I am so sorry, my friend. Ah. me that. Ah, uh, that I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Everyone back up. Uh, one hell of a fucking I'm giving you the backpack. It it, it went through. Uh, it went right through. It's okay. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, oh god. My friend, please take take all the food from my backpack. I, 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 I understand it, it, it was an accident. Uh, sometimes we keep our fingers on a trigger. <laughs> it might not be a good idea all the time, gentlemen. Oh, fuck me. I'll be fine. Ah, thank you. I, uh, I've also noticed that somebody here... Mm, excuse me. Mm, excuse me. My arm fucking hurts. Uh, somebody took something of mine. It's a grenade. I would like to have it back, please. Okay, which one of you guys oh. took the best grenade? Best the fuck up right now. Mm. Which one of you took the grenade? fucking grenade? I won't do anything wrong to the person who's done so. I just want my grenade back. That's all I want. My arm, my. Fucking arm! He won't do it, but if I find out one of my guys is going to do it, I'll shoot you. I was uh, putting pressure on the room, but I was open, but I did not take a grenade. My hands were big. What's your, what's your name? Mm, my arm hurts so much. My name is Eddie. Eddie Beck. Mm. Oh, Eddie, I'm very sorry. Mm, that's alright. Well, while I have everybody's attention and... Oh, I think my arm's broken. I really think my arm's broken. I think it hurt the bone. Okay. Please, if I can have everyone's attention here. There is a lot of people and I'd like to take advantage of this moment. Oh my god, my fucking arm. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking for a man called Joseph Hodge. Has anybody seen that man? Uh, Joseph Hodge. Never heard of him. Nobody. Okay. My brother, um, Mr. Beck, yeah? Yes. Hmm. Uh, I got in my hand. Oh. You need some? Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, I, 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 I suppose. Uh, it hurts. Just, just do it. Mm. Mm, I don't like needles. Even though I was accidentally shot by one of them, they were actually quite nice. They really helped me get back on my feet. At least good enough for me to go looking for a new red sweater. I don't know who the hell took it while I was passed out. Uh, lost it. I can make do without the grenade, but I need my sweater. It's just how I am. This white one was just not cutting it. I love red. After the event at Green Mountain, I kind of want to keep my distance away from people just for a day or two. You might have a red sweater for me. Maybe not. I better not risk it. I'll stay here. It might have saved his life. During my travels, searching for my red sweater, I heard some distant voices. One of the voices sounded familiar, sort of like JT, so I thought, why don't I go see them? Hello? 
Hello? What? Hey there. Hey. How are you? Ve very good. Oh. Is uh. Oh. Hey Eddie. <laughs> JT, good, oh, good, hey, uh, yeah. good to How see you? you. I am very good. Uh, ple ple good pleased to meet you. <laughs> yeah, good to meet you. Name's Rasper. Rasper. I, I I like that. I like that name. <laughs> very nice name. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is one of the guys I usually uh, spend my time around as of lately. You know, Eddie yeah, and I yeah. just met. Yeah. Just telling him about some of mine. Got me a family myself. It's good to have people looking out. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, y I've been pretty much uh, under a rock for the past uh, six months or so. Uh, until recently, I decided <laughs> to to come out and uh, and try to look for a couple of friends of mine. I recently learned that. Uh, well, uh, JT here, he, he knew one of my friends, uh, Quinn, and, uh, uh, well, we... Uh, Mr. Bauer? Oh, you knew him? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yes, oh, yes. Sure, yeah, I met him, uh, met him a long time ago, sure, just, uh, south on the coast there. And, uh, you there, in the green, I need you to yep. hold his left, you, you there in the cowboy hat, I need you to hold his right leg, he's gonna squirm a bit, I gotta set the bone, you know. Okay. Okay, I got him. All right. <clears throat> What's your name there? Marshall. Marshall, tell me where you're from. Um, unfortunately, I've learned of his passing. Um, yeah. Wait, what? About that. No, say that again. Quinn. What? Quinn is is unfortunately not with us anymore. He uh, was shot. <laughs> yeah. Not easy news for us. And uh, for you, apparently, yeah, as well. He showed, uh, showed some people I was with that day some awful kindness, good amount of courtesy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's that kind of guy, you see, and, well, he must have been too nice to the wrong person for this to happen to him. It's very unfortunate. N never heard a song better than his cover, uh, Randy Travis's Three Wooden Crosses. Just, uh, ah, yes. Soulful, you know? Ah, oh, yes, uh, indeed. <laughs> yes, I, I really loved it. I like covers, but uh, he brought something to it that I... Uh, he did know. it justice, is what he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The little teddy bear that Quinn carried with him, uh, it was his daughter's, and, and he put a, uh, a note inside, and it had the name Joseph Hodge. He's the man responsible for Quinn's death. Why, why is that name ringing bell? I remember that name. You'll have to give me some time, free it up a bit. Maybe of course. Maybe I'll talk to my partner. Tim knows a lot of people, and I feel like he met Quinn. I'm fairly confident we'll be able to find him. That bastard must be out there somewhere, and I'd really like to get a hold of him alive, if at all possible. I only met the bastard one time. My eyes a face I won't forget. Well, I'm pretty good at hunting people. I can't really repay you handsomely, but... You would have my uh, entire respect. About that. <laughs> if he had anything to do with Quinn's passing, I'll do that one for free. Eh, that's very good, thank you. Well, asshole robbed somebody like, uh, robbed the world of somebody like that. Needs killing anyway. After separating for a little bit, JT had met this lovely young lady by the name of Jessica. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is the place I was wanting to go. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is. It's nice. <laughs> Come on. Very happy. <laughs> yeah. We need to make this our spot now. Sounds good to me. And of course, I got to meet her. I you can call me Jessie, but it's Jessica. Jessica. Ah. And I'm Eddie, by the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's Burke and Val. Huh. Splendid. Hey, Burke. Come eat, yeah. fellas. Eat. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh... So where are you guys uh, headed off to after that? 
uh, don't really have a home. It's more of uh, looking for someone, and the only way to do that is to move, right? So that's what we're doing. Everyone seemed to click really well with Jessie, so she tagged along with us on our search for supplies and my red sweater. I am really, really thirsty. Mm. If you see some uh, well, or I don't know, let me know. I appreciate that. Uh. Yeah, well, they, um, I'll try to find one right now. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jesse. You're really nice. I like hey, you. Uh, <sighs> oh, for fuck's sakes, this Pipsy was really good. And what the fuck is Pipsy? Yeah, I think it's a <laughs> knockoff of Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. What is this, Nota Cola? Oh, oh, I get it. Not cola, not a cola. Uh, uh, that's funny. No red sweater. Ah, <laughs> uh, just want the red sweater, you know. I don't know what it is. It, it, there's something about the sweater, the color. The, it was one of my favorite shirts, and I know I've seen some sweaters lying around. It might not be exactly the same, but uh, I want a red sweater. That's the only important thing. I like that color. Look at me, I'm standing out like a goddamn fucking snowman. <laughs> yeah, I'll find you one, buddy. Yeah, awesome, JT. Yeah, awesome. I'll find one. After a couple days of searching, I receive a radio call. Is JT telling me I needed to head to a specific location where they set up. Once I got to the camp, he told me to just stand there, so I did. <sighs> you ready for that, Daddy? I'm ready for anything. <laughs> Try that on, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no <laughs> oh my god. No problem, pal. <laughs> oh, you could wipe your ass with this one. <laughs> oh, I feel whole again. There you go. Yeah. It, it, it took it took a You're while. I know. It's it's great. It, it, it looks in even better shape than than what I had it before. Huh. I, I like this one even better. Yeah. It's red. You see this? <laughs> it's red. I I owe you. <laughs> I owe you a big one. Nah, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So how 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 have you uh, guys been? I can't recall if you met our our buddy Trader Jack yet or not. Yes, yes, yes. I have. Yeah. Well, Isn't that nice? Yeah, he got robbed. Oh. He robbed pretty yeah, bad the uh, other day. Oh, oh, that, that's Bastard's not... got away with it, too. Oh, man. For now, at least. Is he okay? No, oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's alright. Lost half of his stuff, though. Pretty bummed. They'll set him back a while and he's trading. JT and I tried to hunt the guys down for a while. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they, uh, as soon as they robbed him, they only traveled a short distance and they shot off its flare gun. We only we were only a few hundred meters away. We saw the flare gun go off. How? Oh. We thought we had him. Didn't manage to find him. I wasn't feeling too good, so I had to step back a little bit. How far away do you think this fire is visible from? Take a walk. Go. Yeah. They're going to abandon you. You know I'm right. No, you're not right. You're wrong. Just wait and see. You're wrong, I said. Now you've got to kill them. There's no way. You're nothing. Okay. He's on to you. Kill him. No, stop it. Oh, 
Hi. <laughs> you okay over here? Oh yeah, I just um, uh, just need to go for a pee. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Telling you they did not. Oh, well, look at that. A note. You see that? It probably says something like you're a fucking idiot. Eddie, we didn't want to wake you up. You look like you needed the rest. We're going to Berezino. Staying for a couple days, a lot of loot. When you get this, head our way. See? Told you. I just knew they wouldn't abandon me. So I started to head slowly towards Barazino. Walked day and night. Until I found him. Ah, uh, it's getting uh, pretty late, guys. <laughs> How about we settle maybe in that house? Oh, that's good. I'm sick of running. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks good. JT said he had a story to tell us. Now, uh, Kim, is this scary? Is this story like really scary? Or it's not too scary, is it? I hope it is a little bit. Actually, uh, <laughs> it's going to be entertaining. <laughs> well, uh. In my travels, I met a, a guy named uh, Mr. Kalik. I believe that was his name. He was an old man up in Mishkino. When I met Mr. Kalik, he was, uh, he was a pretty erratic fellow there. He can never really hardly ever stand a word he's saying. He speaks really quick and he seems like he's a very nervous person. He told me about this guy that, uh, they were calling Patient Zero. Apparently, uh, Patient Zero had uh, escaped from that uh, prison island you guys know about. Apparently, some scientists were doing experiments there on uh, on people and uh, basically injecting them with the uh, the virus that we see uh, these infected bastards have now. So they're responsible, oh. huh? Yeah. But they believe uh, the government's responsible. I think it's uh, they're trying to do some kind of cover up, and maybe that's why the military came in and started annihilating people and uh, you know, quarantine zones, you know, like in Cherno and Electro. Hmm. Well, the old man told me uh, a little bit about Patient Zero. He told me that uh, he still has somewhat of a conscience, you know, not like the infected that we see now where they just, they see us and they come after us and, you know, they scream, they they can't speak, they don't seem like they have any kind of conscience at all, but Patient Zero is different. He, he has the ability to speak, you know, like we speak now, and obviously, oh. you know, <laughs> that, he's uh, capable of making decisions of his own. Oh. That's creepy. Mr. Kalik told me that they were calling it the rage virus. When it all began, he seen the Patient Zero you know, attacking a couple walking down the road. And, well, as you know, from what we've seen, how that, what happens after that, yeah. all the turns weren't infected, and that's how the outbreak happened. That's not what really bothered me about what Mr. Kalik told me about Patient Zero. Um, he heard rumors and stories. He kills children. And, uh, what? He, uh, yeah, that he kills children and uh, 
he oh skins them God. and he uh, weaves their skins together okay, into okay, clothing. Okay, 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 okay. Can you make up this thing? What? what? It's he... getting a little bit Oh, come on, she's getting good. <sighs> no, it's not. It's fucking creepy and scary. And it's a real story. How is this good? That is so fucking demented. Oh. From what they say, they last spotted him, uh, here. Here in, uh, Berezino, where we are now. And, uh, okay, so okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh, what? Here? here? Like, here? Are you kidding me right now? Well, that's, that's what the locals what the local say. That's what Mr. Gaelic told me that, uh, he was last spotted here in Berezino. And okay, 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 stop, kinda stop, makes stop. Sense. stop. Stop, JP! Well, that def definitely did it for me. Green uh, you know. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm sure tired. Uh, I think I want to go to bed. I I don't I don't want to be outside anymore. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's best. <laughs> How about we just uh, all head there? Yeah. All right. Um. All right. Oh, wait. I'm going to sleep in this corner right here. <laughs> okay. Be on the couch. Jack, can you close the like block it, please? Yeah, I got it. We'll be all right. All right good night, everyone. All right. Good night. Good night, guys. Who's there? Where are you guys? Right? I, 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 no 
I'll leave you alone. Stay away. I want you to run, little rabbit. <laughs> Going to get you, Eddie. <laughs> Cowardly little shit. Stay the fuck away. Stay away. Stay away. I fucking swear I'm gonna bust your head in, you son of a bitch. Stay away. <laughs> Fuck off of her.